This is the video demonstration on the 10AT Shock Junior. Uh, here you have a temp guard for the heat chamber. Uh, it's a low set point, high set point. If it goes above or below, it will alarm. This is the programmable Versa 10-2 controller. Uh, you can operate the system in manual mode or you can store up to 10 programs in the system. This is the power switches for the chamber. You can have one side or the other powered on. You have alarm, silence, and reset, and then just indicators of where the basket is and what's controlling. This is the TempGuard 3 controller for the cold side chamber, which also has a heater in it, so this one can be used both ways uh, with the low and high set points. And then you have the optional chart recorder for monitoring your temperatures in the chamber. Over here you have the uh, gas N2 purge system, which purges N2 into both chambers to decrease the moisture in the chambers. And up top here you have the uh, LN2 boost option, which puts uh, LN2 into the cold chamber in order to meet the uh, mil spec standard. Uh, here's your main control breaker and then your uh, alarm. This is the hot side chamber. It works from uh, plus 40 to 200 degrees C. This is the cold chamber, which operates from minus 65 to 200 degrees C. I'll show you the transfer uh, system in manual mode. And then now what we'll do is we'll turn it on, uh, let it get to operating temperatures, and we'll be back. You can see the chamber is at operating temperature, uh, 152 on the hot side, uh, minus 67 on the cold side. Uh, the chambers could be ran independently, and you could program the cold chamber here to go uh, minus 65 to 200 and run it independently with ramp programs, or you, you know, you program it as a thermal shock where you transfer the basket from hot to cold, or vice versa. I'll just show you a manual transfer. The chamber, it shuts down the fans inside, it will transfer the basket and then turn everything back on. So as you see, the temperature will drop and then over time it will recover. Uh, if LN2 was being used, it would uh, meet this uh, mil spec standard of uh, five minutes air recovery time and 15 minute product recovery time. Uh, we just have compressed air running through the lines right now.